my channel. This is Swift Wellness. I'm Ashley and today we're coming at you with an arms and abs workout. That means we're crushing all of the muscles of the upper body, specifically toning those arms, those biceps, those triceps, chest and shoulders. And of course, no workout would be complete without an ab set as well. So of course, if you don't have 30 minutes, you can absolutely check out our channel for shorter 15 minute options. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's just start off nice and easy today with some shoulder rolls, rolling all the way up and back. So big inhale and then big exhale on that next round back. So I'm rolling my shoulders down and back in one big deep breath. So big inhale as you come around and then big exhale as you go back. Go one more, then we're gonna switch. Rolling it the other way, so rolling those shoulders forward, same breathing. So one big inhale for one, two, three, four. Same thing, big exhale, one, two, three, four. Gotta go one more inhale, one more exhale. And then let's just make those a little bit wider. So this time my elbows are going forward, still rolling through those shoulders. Gonna take three breaths. We're gonna switch it going backwards in two and one. Big deep breath, you're going backwards, rolling those elbows. Again, making that circle a little bit bigger, widening up, warming up through your shoulders, your chest, your arms, everything as you stretch and open. Gonna got two more, then we're gonna interlace those hands overhead. Take one big inhale, and then as you exhale, just lean over to that left side, feeling that big stretch through that right oblique, through that right side. Take one more deep breath, and then switch to the other side. Good. Take one deep breath, and then interlace those hands behind. Just big stretch, open up your chest. And then take one big exhale. And then coming over to your hands and knees position, start into some cat cows. So big inhale as you go into that cow position. And then big exhale as you press into your hands and arch your back. One more inhale. And then one more big exhale, and then we'll sink back to child's pose. So here's how the workout will go today. We've got three rounds, two rounds of arms, two rounds of abs, and then we're finishing off with a double round of both exercises. So those last exercises will incorporate both abs and arms today. So we're starting off with our arms set. So go ahead and grab your dumbbells. I've got a set of threes, whatever works for you is fine. We're gonna start with a upright row. So if you prefer to stand, you wanna sit on your heels, whatever you want to do today, rock that pelvis forward, engage the abs, keep your back nice and straight through all of the movements. So we're starting with palms at our sides, palms face back, rowing up and back down. So you can go ahead in front of your thighs to the side of your body, whatever feels good to you, but you're leading with those elbows, keeping the weights close to your body. So it's up and down, up and down. Really think about leading with those elbows and pulling with the elbows and the shoulders. So it's up and lower. So as you press back down, it's a big pull and press. So pull and press. Don't just drop those weights. So big inhale, big exhale. Inhale and exhale. We've got 20 seconds, then we're gonna hold those arms out to our sides. Good, again, just warming up through the shoulders, 
working lots of repetitions today, working to fatigue. So get used to that kind of uncomfortable burning. Good, we've got two and one. Go ahead, hold those weights out. Palms are gonna face behind you, pinkies to the sky. Your scarecrow row looks like this. I'm bringing my thumbs to my shoulders and then straightening those arms back out. So when I hold those weights out, those pinkies are to the sky, my, uh, my arms are parallel with the mat, bringing in and out. Big inhale, big exhale, keeping those arms, keeping those triceps parallel, not letting them drop. So again, holding out, good. You've got 20 seconds here. Extend and inhale. Think about yourself just like a scarecrow, back straight, core engaged. The only movement is coming from that arm. So of course, if you need to, you can always alternate if that makes it easier for you, whichever feels better. Good, you've got five seconds. Good, you've got three, two, and one. This time, keep those arms out, but you're gonna flick your thumbs to the sky this time. We're going into bicep curls. Same setup, your arms don't drop, and you extend and curl in. This time, we're just tweaking the positioning of the shoulder, of the bicep, keeping that core nice and tight, not letting those elbows drop. So if you have to, drop the weights, but you're bringing the thumb to the shoulder and extending that arm out. So extend, good, you've got it. Keep those shoulders working. I will give you a break in just a minute. You've got 15 seconds. And then we're transferring that movement forward. Good. Going into a little different shoulder exercise today, which you're getting that bicep curl. Good, you've got three. Good, it's two. Last one, go ahead and extend your arms out directly in front of you. So from the side, it looks like this, palms face to the ground, core is squeezed. You're alternating that over under by left hand over right, right hand over left. So again, not dropping those weights, just keeping that movement really small, going back and forth here, good. Avoid kind of swinging those arms either way. You wanna keep that movement slow tight, really concise. It should be a very small movement. I promise I'll let you drop your arms after this set. Good, you've got 15 seconds. You can burn through it, work all the way. Good, you've got it, 10 seconds. Don't drop your arms, you'll get a break after this. Good, you've got five, four, good, it's three, two and one. Good, give yourselves a quick shoulder roll. We've got one last exercise in this first round of arms. We're gonna go into slow tricep tempo push-ups. So starting in that plank position, shoulder stacks directly over those hands. We're gonna roll those elbows back. Big inhale, I'm gonna lower myself down. It's a one, two, three, and then with that big exhale, I'm pressing all the way back up. And again, it's a big inhale, one, two, three, and then press all the way back up. So of course you have a few options here. You can drop down to your knees. Again, keeping those elbows tucked in close to your body. It's one, two, three, and then use that breath, that, in, that big exhale to press yourself back up. Good, it's one, two, three, and press. Good, you've got one last one for the last five seconds. Three, two, hold it at the bottom. Two, one, and press. Good, go ahead. Shift back into child's pose quickly. Big deep inhale. Here's, we're going right back into that same exact setup. So starting with that lateral row today, you can sit on your heels, you can sit on your thighs, whatever feels good to you. Starting with those elbows leading, coming down. So big exhale and inhale. Exhale, good. Keeping that breathing nice and steady, keeping those weights really close to your body for this entire exercise. Good, you've got it. Just really focusing on burning out those shoulders, feeling those triceps and biceps engage as you pull. 
Good, you've got it. You've got 12 seconds, and then we're going right into those scarecrows, just like before, so you know exactly what's coming. You've got two, good, you've got one, and arms out long, same thing. Thumb comes into armpit and extends back out long. So if you need to, don't drop those arms, but drop the weight, keep those elbows, Lifted this entire time. The only movement is coming from those elbows. Good, avoid rocking, avoid swinging. Good, squeeze. You're here for 20 seconds. You guys have already been here. You already know what this feels like. It already feels like a burn, that's for sure. Good, you've got it, you've got 10 seconds. And then we're going, flipping those palms, going right into those biceps. Good, you got three, two, and one. Good, flip those palms, thumbs come up, and extend long. Again, it's almost like you're flushing it out. Should feel a lot different when you flip those palms. So this should feel much more intense than when you flip those palms in, thumbs come up to shoulders, and out. Good. Again, not dropping those arms. We're getting off this arm circuit. After this round, moving on to abs, you can work through the next about minute and a half, and then we're gonna take a break, burn out those abs, and then finish strong with a combo exercise. Good, you've got 10 seconds. Keep those elbows lifted whole entire time. Good, you've got it. It's five, four, three, Two and one, good. Take those weights, you're going over under. This time we're gonna shift those palms. They're gonna to face towards the sky, keeping that same shifting movement. So left and right, alternating which one goes over each hand. So again, keeping those arms out long, slight bend in the elbow, it's right and left. Small movements, core engage, core squeezing. Good, you've got it. 30 seconds and you get to drop those weights for the end of the upper body set. Good, you've got it. Holding it tight. Big deep breaths as it feels like it's getting harder, as you feel like you want to drop those hands. Take that deep breath. Don't give up on yourself. You've got 10 seconds. Good, we're gonna go into those push-ups. One more minute of upper, of upper body and then you're free. Three, Two and one, good. Quick round of those shoulders. Right back into those tricep push-ups. If you were on your knees last time, try to be on that plank position this time. This time we're gonna go down in one big fell swoop. It's one, and then as you press back up, it's one, two, three, four. So exactly opposite from what we did before. So if you're on your knees, it's down one, one, two, three, four. So really take that tempo that entire way. Slowly press back up, hover just above the ground. One, two, three, four. Holding that core tight, making sure that as you press, you don't allow your back to arch. You're holding it all the way, coming down. Good, it's one, two, three, and four. Squeeze. One more, come all the way down. One, two, three, and four. Good, go ahead, tuck your knees, quick child's pose. We're going around, switching into our ab set today. So we've got, again, two sets. So you can go ahead, set your weights nearby, your choice if you want to use them or not. We're gonna start off with some toe touches. So legs extend long up overhead, making an L shape with your body. Here's what it looks like. I'm taking my fingertips, rolling that head, neck, and shoulders up, trying to touch, and then rolling back down. So you have the option to take those weights, reach towards those toes, and lower back down. So again, I'm working those upper abs as I reach towards the toe, and release. So again, so big exhale as I reach toward those toes. Big inhale as I lower back down. Big exhale. 
big inhale, exhale, and inhale, good. You guys got it. Really working on those upper abs, trying to keep those legs as steady as possible. If you need to, you can always bend the knees. So you're reaching and lowering. It's reach and lower. Good, you've got it. Reaching all the way up, all the way up. Really trying to focus on getting that last little tiny centimeter at the very top before relaxing. Good, you've got 10 seconds. Keep the abs engaged as you reach. Big exhale, big inhale. It's five, good, four, three, two, and one. Good, set those weights over to the side. We're going into a penguin crunch here. So rolling that head, neck, and shoulders up off of the ground. You've got two options. Place your hands behind your head if you're sensitive, or extend those arms out long. I'm reaching left hand to left heel. Come back to center, right fingertips to right heel. So again, it's left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right. So focused on not swinging through my shoulders, keeping my head, neck, and shoulders nice and tight, chin towards the sky, really reaching to work that oblique, center, right, and center. Of course, if it's too tough on your head and neck and shoulders, always pick up that tension behind your neck and reach that elbow on that same side, back to center, right elbow, Good, whichever feels good to you. If you want that added challenge, pick up the weights. Weights go long and you're reaching that weight to that same side of heel. Good, keeping that movement really small. You're probably never gonna touch the heel, but the, you're thinking about really reaching towards it, working those muscles. You've got five, four, three, good. Two and one. Set those weights over to the side, extend those legs out long. We're going into V-ups. Arms go overhead, legs go long. I'm bringing my arms and legs to meet in a sit up at the very top. So keep those legs long, arms long. And then as I pull up through my hip flexors, I come and touch my toe and then come all the way back down. So again, as I sit up, re keeping those legs long to try to touch my toes, avoid that slingshot movement of using your arms to propel you forward. So coming up and reach. Of course, you can always go single leg and reach up to your toe and then come back down, switch to your right and back down. This is your option and your modification. And then you always have the option to come up into a boat sit. If you'd like to sit up nice and tall, hands go behind your hips, taking those knees into your chest, extend out long, and back into your chest. So it's out long, chest. So you have three different modifications there. Whatever feels best for you to use those hip flexors, really use those low abs to pull your arms and your legs to meet together. So I'm more concerned about you being consistent in the movement than trying to go into that V up and sling yourself around. So you've got five more seconds here, and then we're gonna go through that entire thing one more time. Good, it's three, two, and one. Good, go ahead, back to your back. We're going right back into those toe touches. If you did not use the weights last time, now is the time to do so. Legs extend at 90 degrees to your hips, reaching those weights all the way up and back down. Again, reach up and down, working those upper abs. Big exhale, big inhale as you reach to your toes. Good. Make sure you're breathing. You're not holding your breath during these exercises. You want to make sure that your core is engaged, but not tense. Good, you've got it. Deep breath, good. Big exhale, big inhale, and reach. Good, you've got five seconds, four, three, good. You've got it, two, 
and drop those heels. You're going right into those penguin reaches. Again, if you didn't use the weights last time, challenge yourself to do so this time. Left hand, left heel, center, right, center. Make sure you don't just start becoming a U. You're really reaching and center. Reach and hold, back to center. Good, you've got it. If those weights are too challenging, that's okay. Or if you need the support behind your head, neck, and shoulders, do so as you reach and reach. You have many modifications here. What I want is that you engage through that oblique as you twist and reach, center, twist and reach. Focus on engaging that core, pressing that lower back into the mat, really thinking about using everything in your core. Good, you've got 10 seconds. Good, and then we're going right back into those V-ups. Good, you've got it. Three, two, and one. Good, set those weights to the side. Extend those legs out long. I'm in sitting up into that jackknife position, bringing both my hands and my feet together, coming all the way back, controlling that movement so I don't drop to the mat. So sitting up and center, up, good. Or if you want, you can always come up to that boat sit position, whatever feels best for you and your body. Listen to it today. You've got 20 seconds, good. You're right there, pressing in and away. If you're in that boat sit position, make sure you're leaning back into your triceps, get a little extra work there. Less than 10 seconds, good. And then we're finishing off the final round today. We've got combo exercises in three, two, and one, good. <clears throat> Take your weights, we're going into a tricep kickback today. So we have a few options. Because we're making this a core exercise, we're starting in a plank position. One weight to the left side of my body, stacking those shoulders directly over my hands. I'm gonna take that weight in my left hand, lift up that elbow, extend. Back to center, extend. Of course, if you find that too difficult, you can always drop to both knees. You, from here, you're just again, extending pinky to the sky. If you want an additional balance challenge, keep that same knee down, extend the opposite leg long. So it's left arm and right leg, pinky to the sky, center. Good, you're right here. Really focus on squeezing that tricep at the top. Good, you've got 10 seconds and we're gonna switch sides. So we're going right onto that right side, so quick transition. If you're in that plank position, take a quick child's pose in between. You've got two and one. Roll that weight to the other side, extend the opposite leg long, go right into that kickback. Make sure you're not swinging through that arm. Good, you're just really focused on squeezing the tricep at the top, bringing the weight back to the shoulder and squeeze. Good. You've got it, you've got 15 seconds here. And then we're moving over to a little shoulder press. Good, you've got six, you've got four, three, two, and one. Good, shift over into that boat sit position that we were in earlier for the V sit. <clears throat> Taking one weight in either hand, extending those arms out long. You have a few positions here, so. Your easiest position is centering those heels into the mat for extra added stability. You can always pick it up into a boat sit or option to extend those legs long in a V sit. So we're adding in that shoulder press. So wherever you need to be to be the most stable is where I want you. So palms face away, find that scoop in the tailbone, chest tall, pull it down and up. So extend. Pull. So really thinking about flexing through those shoulder blades, squeezing at the bottom, and extending out long. Again, big exhale as you press away. Inhale, exhale, inhale, good. So challenge yourself to pick up those feet and extend those arms long and pull back. 
But again, it's most important to remain as stable as possible through the chest. So as you extend, pull back. Good. You've got 10 seconds here. Whatever feels good for you. Good. You've got it. You've got three, two, and one. Good. Set those weights down. We're going back into that plank position. This time I want both weights on the same side of your mat. We're going into a plank transfer. So popping up into that plank position. You're taking that opposite hand, reaching to the weight. So you're crossing underneath your body, grabbing that weight, shifting it to the opposite side of your mat. So I'm doing it two times on my left, taking my left hand, moving the weight from the right side of the mat to the left. So again, trying to avoid rocking through those hips. I wanna be as stable as possible through the hips, reaching across and then reaching back under. So again, if you need to, you can always drop those knees to the ground, but when you do so, make sure you don't shift your weight backwards. You wanna keep the weight directly over your hands so that you challenge your core and keep your back straight. So again, it's left, left, shift that weight, right and right. One more on each side, it's left, and left and one more to that right side good go ahead and drop down and do a quick child's pose we've got one more exercise in this round we'll do it one more time all the way through and then we are out of here today so laying all the way down on the mat both weights in both hands feet into the mat knees to the sky we're extending those weights overhead so long, not bending those triceps, and then it coming back to center. So I'm pressing through my core, lower back into the mat, arms extend overhead, and back. So depending upon your core strength, depending upon your flexibility, if you find that you can only come here because your back starts to arch, that's as far as you go. If you can go a little bit farther, do so, squeeze, and back to center. If this is too easy for you, go ahead and pick your knees up into a tabletop position, or even challenge yourself to extend your legs long as you extend those weights overhead. So this isn't a tricep extension. We're not bending the elbows. Keeping the arm straight as you go over and back to center. This is a chest and shoulder exercise, so that's what we're focused on here. Good. You've got five seconds. We're gonna go ahead and start that whole entire series over again in three, two, and one. Quick knees into the chest, roll over onto the other side. We're going right back into that tricep kickback today. So again, stacking into that plank position. If you need to, take that one hand and extend it out long, keeping that knee up for balance. Fingertips to the sky as you extend that leg or that arm out long, coming back to center. This is your final five minutes of class, so we're working to the very end. Good. You're just trying to keep that tricep up, keep that elbow pointed towards the sky. Good. Hold that core. Good. You've got it. You're here 15 seconds, and then quick transition will go to the other side. Good. You've got three two, good, and one, come back to center, switch those knees, switch that hand, go right into that next tricep, good, you've got it, you're not here for very much longer, this is the last time you'll be doing this exercise today, good, squeeze, and extend, you've got 10 seconds, good, you've got it, going right into that boat sit, try that boat sit shoulder press today, Good, it's three, two, and one. Good, shift onto your butt and shift over into that boat sit position. Arms extend overhead into that seated position, pulling back into that shoulder press and back to center. Of course, you can always take those heels into the mat as you extend, as you find that balance. Good, use those shoulders, use those lats as you pull down 
and up. Good. Down and down. Good. You've got it just under 20 seconds here. Working to the end of class. Flipping back over for that plank position. Good. It's three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Both weights on one side of your mat. Set up for that weight transfer. Again, taking that deep breath, finding that plank position. Right hand reaches underneath the body. Both weights on the left side transfer to the right side of the mat. And then shifting to the other side, left and left, avoiding that hip wiggle, staying nice and tall. Good, you've got it. There's one exercise left in class after this. Good, you just gotta hold this plank for 20 more seconds. Focus on shifting that weight from side to side. Good, you've got it. Squeeze your core. We're on our backs after this. Less than 10 seconds. Good, you've got it. It's five, four, three, two, and drop those knees. Quick child's pose. Roll over onto your back for that overhead extension. This is your last movement of class. <sighs> Extend those arms directly over your chest. Fingers interlace, hands together. Extend over your head, bringing those elbows by your ears, and back to center. If you didn't challenge yourself last time of picking up those feet or extending out to 45, now is your opportunity. Really work through the last 24 seconds of class today. Deep breath, feeling those abs shake, feeling everything extend long. Good, you got it guys, 13 seconds. Big exhale, big inhale. You've got it, you've got five. Good, we're gonna drop those weights and hug those knees into the chest in three, two, and one. Go ahead, hug those knees. Good, go ahead and stretch out along today. Interlace those fingers, extend long, stretch. Pull yourself from the toes to the fingertips. Big deep inhale. Take one more deep breath and when you're ready to go ahead and sit up. Pulling yourself nice and tall. Go ahead and Come to a seated position. We're going to take that right hand across the body. Big stretch. Feeling that good stretch through the shoulder, through the chest, through the arm. On your next big inhale, take that elbow up and over knees, pulling down on that elbow. Option to twist through that right side, leaning it over to your left, feeling that good stretch down your right side. One more deep breath, and switch arms. Left arm comes across the body, big stretch. Big inhale and big exhale. On your next big inhale, go ahead and take that arm up and overhead. Good, pulling on that elbow, taking the option to reach over to that right side. Big deep inhale. And then taking those hands behind the chest, big inner lace, pull your chest to the sky as you pull your hands down to your seat. Taking two big deep breaths here. And last. One, good work guys. Take a couple shoulder rolls in both directions, just big inhales. You did work today. Last big deep shoulder roll backwards and then switch that roll forward. We'll finish on the same exercise that we started today. Good, three and 
last one. Good work. Great work today, guys. I hope that arms and abs dumbbell workout was challenging and the perfect complement to your weekly workout routine. I hope that you take the added challenges, you use heavier weights, and you get stronger in the process. Of course, I want to know how your workout went below. Tell me everything. Did you take the added challenges? Did you need the modifications? Let me know so I can make the best possible workout for you. And as always, make sure to share our channel with your friends and like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Have a great day.